Welcome to vlog number two. I just want to start out by saying thank you so much to everybody who not only watched my first vlog, but who liked, comment, and subscribed. I was honestly blown away. I wasn't expecting so much love and support, but I appreciate it so much. The vlogs are only going to get better. I learned so much about the process and kind of how to make these better and better quality for you guys. So I appreciate you guys sticking with me on this journey. It's going to be a fun one. So I asked you guys what you want to see on vlog number two. And a lot of you said two things. You wanted to hear more about me and you wanted to see see some AZ poker life. So that's what I'm going to bring you guys today. A quick about me. My name is Ashley. I am 33. I was born and raised here in Phoenix, Arizona after my grandma traveled here from Puerto Rico in the early 1900s. I grew up in a really cool family. My dad owned a local piano shop here for over 45 years, so I grew up around music. I started playing the piano at age five. I also was super into sports, so I played basketball and karate. I actually played basketball in high school and in college where I became an All-American. It was one of my greatest achievements because I worked my whole life at basketball. I was planning to continue my career and play overseas, but I got injured. So I decided that was gonna be it for my basketball journey as a player. I went on to coach college for a few years. All the while I was playing in a few bands, I was actually in a gypsy jazz band, and I also toured in a pop rock band for a few years. All the while I was still kind of helping my dad run his shop along the way. I got into poker in college where my team would have game nights and poker was one of the games we played and I fell in love with it. I became completely obsessed and I realized, hey, this is a game that you can make money at if you're better than other people at it. So that kind of started the journey. I went to the World Series. It was my second World Series in 2018. I went to go play the Rio Daily Deep Stack and I ended up finishing fourth out of 1200 people for around $13,000. And that's honestly kind of what propelled my poker career into what it is today. My dad was getting ready to retire and I had to figure out what I was gonna do with my life. And I was already making more playing part-time poker than I was making at an hourly rate at any other job I'd had. So I thought, why not give this a shot? Well, I've been doing this now for three years. It is honestly one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life, mentally, emotionally, emotionally, physically, but it's also been one of the most rewarding things I've ever done in my life. I get to choose my own hours. I get to have the freedom to work and dedicate as much time as to this as I possibly can. I'm not looking back. So that is a really quick summary of my life and who I am. And I'm sure you guys will learn a ton more about me as we go on with this vlog. So I want to take you guys to Talking Stick Resort today. That's where we're going to head to go play some poker. In my opinion, it is one of the best poker rooms. It is located in Scottsdale, Arizona. It is absolutely gorgeous. We have amazing dealers, great staff. The chairs are super comfortable. The chips feel good. It took me a while to get used to them, but I actually really like them now. <laughs> and you'll see what I mean. So a quick little summary on AZ Poker. We actually can't have no limit poker here. So we actually have what's called spread limit. We have the 3300 and the 5500. Now that might sound weird too if you've never played spread limit, but what that means is in this 3300 
game. The blinds are $2, $3, but it's called 3300 because you can bet anything at any time from three to $300. So you actually can't go all in for more than that at any time. In the three, five game, it's the same thing, except the maximum bet is 500 at any given time. So it takes a little bit of getting used to, and yes, it does change the game up a little bit. It doesn't really affect the game too much unless you're obviously in a really big pot. We're actually gonna go play the three, 300. I'm gonna head there now. So let's go on this journey. AZ Poker Life, Talking Stick Resort. I'll see you guys there. Sign up for the 3300. Hopefully, we can run up a stack. It would be awesome for the vlog. But uh, here we go. So I finally got seated and I was so excited and ready to play my first hands back at Talking Stick. I sat down and tried to gauge who my opponents were and my position at the table. I had a few hands that I raised and took the blinds down uh, at the beginning, nothing special. I finally got a hand where I picked a pocket sixes under the gun plus one. Under the gun had limped and he was a very, very loose passive player who was just limping almost every hand. So I want to play a pot heads up with this guy. So I make it 15. Sure enough, we do go heads up to a flop and the flop was five of clubs, four of diamonds, four of hearts. Great flop for my hand. He checks it to me and I see bet $20. He calls. Turn is a nine of hearts, bringing a flush draw. I don't think he should have too many nines here, and I still feel like my hand is the best hand at this point. He could have a lot of random over cards here. This guy was playing any two cards. So I end up betting 35 on the turn, and he folds, and we take it down. So first hand I ended up going to a flop with, we take it down, and it was a nice start. All right, so this next hand was a fun one. It ended up being the biggest pot I played for the night. It was against the same guy who I played the pocket sixes against, and he is getting really sick of my raising at this point. He keeps limping any two cards, and I keep punishing him in position with any sort of playable hand that I've been getting and just destroying him post-flop. So in this hand, he limps the cutoff, and I'm on the button with seven six of spades. So once again, I decide to raise, and I make it 15. He calls and we go heads up to a flop. The flop is queen, six, five, two spades. So at this point, I feel like I flopped an absolute monster against this guy. <laughs> he checks to me and I see bet $20. He calls. The turn is a jack of hearts. He checks again. So now I have a decision whether I want to continue barreling or if I want to play my hand in position and see a river card. But I feel like I have so much equity against this guy's range. I do decide to continue and I bet $40 and he calls. 
So when he calls the turn, I feel like his range is a little bit stronger here. He was letting a lot of hands go prior to this hand on the turn. So when he calls turn, I feel like he does have some sort of stronger holding than he normally has here. The river is the beautiful seven of hearts. So I don't make my flush, but I do make a sneaky two pair. I definitely don't think he thinks I'm going to have a suited connector in this spot. And I definitely can have some bluffs here. So he checks again and I decide to bet $70. He doesn't think very long before calling and he actually had five six offsuit so he did flop two pair there he said he thought about raising me on the turn but I wasn't going anywhere with my hand especially against this guy so we ended up picking up a nice pot here and it ends up being the biggest pot we played for the night All right, so in this next hand, I thought I was being set up for the perfect storm. I picked up pocket aces in the cutoff. Hijack limps, the same guy who I've been raising over, over and over again. I make it $20. We go heads up to a flop. The flop is king, nine, six, two clubs. He checks it to me. I bet $20. Happy to continue on this board. He calls. The turn is a deuce of hearts, so super blank card. Not worried about much at this point. Just want to continue to get value. He checks. I bet 45. He calls again. River is the king of diamonds, and I kind of cringed when I saw this card. Wasn't the best card in the world, especially if he has some random king. He checks, and I decide to check it back. I actually checked back pretty quickly, and he flipped over king seven of clubs. So he flopped a pretty strong hand there. He ended up catching the good old two outer on the river. I think I avoided a little bit of disaster there on the river. Let me know what you would have done on this river card in the comments below. I'm just taking a quick break here. Gonna get back in the action. I'll probably just play for a little bit longer here. I didn't want to play a really long session today. So it's nice to see you. Please go to the Christopher Please go to It's just nice to be back and uh, play a few hands, get a few hours in, and hopefully end on a win. So let's see how the rest of it goes. So a few orbits later, the table really died down. Two of the really big winners took their chips and left, unfortunately. One of them had four bet 10-7 offsuit and ended up going runner runner for a gut shot. So there was a lot of action and a lot of money to be made on that table. Unfortunately, I didn't get any big pots, but I did have a few small nice ones go my way as you guys saw. So I ended up taking my chips, cashing out, and heading home. So that's gonna be it for vlog number two. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. It'll help the channel a lot. Also, if you wanna follow me in my day-to-day -day life, please follow me on Instagram. I'll put the link right here. I post live updates every day about what's going on in poker and in my daily life. Lastly, if you like the music, it is my own music that I wrote and produced. It'll be on Spotify soon, so stay tuned for that. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys for vlog number three. Also, if you're stuck at home and can't get to a casino, but you really wanna play some poker, I have the perfect option for you. There's a brand new, super exciting app called X Poker. It is crazy cash games, amazing guaranteed tournaments. You will be so happy with the site, I promise you. If you want to join, just DM me on Instagram. I'll put the link here, or you can email me. Use club ID 69420, referral code 195688. Nine. We'll get you signed up, we'll get you in there, and you'll be crushing those games in no time.